Okay, he did. It's nice to see that you're wearing your mask. You're keeping us all safe from COVID infection. I really appreciate that. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming uh, on Ravenhurst, by the way. <laughs> and uh, I think there's been an update uh, with the fishing uh, with the fishing rod because when I fish now, I right click, I uh, I pull something in every time, but not every time when I put the thing on the ground do I get something. Um, so I, it looks like uh, something was changed there uh, since the last time I did this, which is uh, really good. Uh, let's get rid of this guy. Um, if you look at my food bar, it is dangerously low. Um, because, you know, I keep having to drink so that I don't get dehydrated and I keep getting dysentery. So it's just kind of a vicious cycle. But uh, we are we are pulling in some fish. I already have 10 fish and some prawns here or crawdads or whatever they are. So uh, let's just finish this out. Uh, I brought you back a little early because I wanted to show you that the, this has been changed. Uh, apparently... Because last time I tried this, you know, sometimes it would take several right clicks for it to actually pull anything in, if you guys watched that episode. Uh, so, yeah, uh, when I got on uh, this morning uh, at just a little after 4 a.m., see, now my food's dangerous, but we're just going to stay here and continue fishing until we get all these worms taken care of. Um, I went out and dug up some clay, and I got 15 worms in total. And, you know, some more clay, of course, uh, because we need that for the mold. And uh, we just got to get back to the base with all this fish, get it cooked up before I die. <laughs> uh, so looks like you can sometimes catch other things too, which is kind of cool. Um, little my oh wow, those are very high quality padded boots. What am I wearing right now? Okay, yeah, and uh, I mean they're only one less armor rating actually, and the durability is way better. I don't know. Uh, we don't have time to mess with that right now, though. So let's keep uh, let, let's finish this out here, and uh, we should have enough food to get our food all the way back up, and then have a little bit of extra uh, once this once we get all this food uh, or fish rather cooked up. So uh, we're gonna start losing health too, but hopefully I can get back and get stuff cooked up uh, before you know before it becomes dire. Well, it's already kind of dire. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, so the, the plan for today is uh, to create the mold uh, for the forge and then, yeah, you know, well that's the first thing we're going to do and then after that we'll have to see uh, what else uh, we we will do today. So it's just really a matter of continuing to work on, you know, the, the storyline quests so that we can uh, continue advancing here in the game. Uh, so we've got... This one, and then one more to do. Okay, we got, uh, we got, well, we got a prawn or a crawdad out of that one. So, okay, this is the last one we have. Recipes, fishing rod, craft. Yeah, that dysentery has just been killing me, uh, quite literally. It's such a, such a pain in the ass. Because, you know, hemorrhoids and all that. After you start having diarrhea all the time, it's kind of hard on the butthole. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying that. Uh, but, you know, true story anyways. Okay, <clears throat> let's head on back. Uh, we have a nice little collection of fish, so again, it's just a matter of making it back and getting it cooked up before it's too late. I'm encumbered. Um, let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of the rotten fish, because that just turns into spoiled food. So we can run it as fast as we can possibly run. Problem is our stamina is just running out super, super quick. Um, so we might be further ahead just to walk at this point. Um, and then, you know, the, oh, you know, the other thing I need to gather, which I just haven't had time to do yet, uh, since I started playing this morning is, um, is coal. We got to get some coal too. And there is, uh, there is a coal factory around here somewhere, and that's going to probably be the best place for us to get it. Unless I can spot a deposit, um, closer than the coal factory, uh, because we need the coal to filter the water. Oh, the other thing, too. Uh, I know I keep thinking of new things. Uh, there is a coffee maker here in uh, the booby trap. We're going to see if we can pick that up because if we can get that and start making the teas, you know, then we've taken care of our dysentery issue. Um, one of you guys were saying in the comments, and I 110% agree with you, is that it's kind of bullshit that we have to go to all the trouble to 
you know, to purify the contaminated water, and we still have a 10% chance. Even after it's been purified, you know, through charcoal and boiled, we still have a 10% t chance to get dysentery. I agree. That is bullshit. I don't like that at all. I'm just going to throw that out there. Okay, uh, we need to eat, and we need to eat, like, now. Uh, so uh, let's get... Uh, let's just make... No, let's make grilled fish, because I, I didn't see any difference between boiled fish and grilled fish, and boiled fish is going to use our water. Uh, so let's start making those. I have a few extra prawns, I think, in here. Somewhere we had some extra prawns. Right here. I, well, oh, I guess they are prawns. I don't know. Prawns, crawdads, not exactly the same thing, but in the same family anyways, right? Uh, so we can do boiled prawns, charred prawns, or grilled prawns. I'm thinking grilled prawns is what we want. Um, and that leaves us three left over. Okay, let's grab these and eat them immediately. Oh, finally some food. Okay. Eat those fish and chips. Well, we don't have the chips, but we got the fish. We can just imagine that we have the chips. Okay, we'll just imagine. Put those prawns slash crawdads back. I'm going to hang on to these really high-level cloth um, boots for now. Um, and maybe look at those a little more closely to see if they're actually worth putting on. Okay, whew, look at that food coming back up. Oh, man, we need we need that so bad. Okay, so, yeah, we get our food and water under control. Um, and then... Uh, actually, you know what? Before we do anything more with water, let's grab our... Do I have my wrench with me? Keep hitting the I key. Yeah. Let's see if we can get that uh, coffee maker. Because if we can, uh, that's going to make a huge difference in our survivability. There's something back in here, too. It's a backpack. Let's see what's inside of it. Oh, nice. I don't know if that's nicer than what we're wearing. We'll look at that in a second. Uh, but the coffee maker's actually in here. Um, so I'm assuming we just use this. Did we pick it up? I think we did. Did we? Oh, nice. Okay, cool. So, yeah, we might have just solved our dysentery problem, too, ladies and gentlemen. Might have just solved it. Let's go get up here, set that down, and see what... What happens? So can we put it... Yeah, let's just... Well... Guess we'll put it here. Okay, so how does this work? We need... Dried goldenrod leaves? Dried chrysanthemum leaves. Um... Do we have coffee beans? Oh, we do. Okay. So we can make that right now. So we just need... Um, oh, shit. We can't, though. We can make one. Uh, and I guess we don't have to put any fuel in it because it says it's powered. Um, Because I've got a bunch of contaminated water, but I can't... I, I need coal to, you know, to change it into semi-contaminated water. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's grab this. And how's our food? Our food's about halfway up, so we're going to... Unfortunately, we might have to eat just about all of these to get back to the top. I'd like to have a couple extra for later. Okay, let's drink this coffee. And this should give us zero chance of dysentery. Yeah, it doesn't say dysentery there, so let's just drink it now. And that'll get our hydration probably up to around halfway or so. So we're, we're slowly getting out of the woods here. Slowly getting out of the woods. Okay, now I need to figure out how to make dried goldenrod. So let's grab this and go recipes. Dried goldenrod leaves. Uh, oh, so do we have to do that in here? So does this mean we have to have the actual workstation? Well, you know, like the normal workbench? Or is that a different is that a different workstation of some sort? Oh man, okay, I don't know. I don't know. 
not quite sure, not quite clear on, on that. So we'll figure it out. Um, in fact, if we keep following the, the food quests. So, oh, I wonder if, I wonder if we have to make this farm table for that to work. Because I think this is the next step in the food stuff here. Making a farm table. Um, catch more insects, more beer. Yeah, we're waiting on that. We need to wait till we can make a, a a metal knife, hunting knife. We can't do this though until we get our. Oh, we do have a point. Okay, so, um, what is it that we needed? Was it? Uh... Yeah, let's go over here. Okay, farming table. We need living off the land, and I think we need living off the land too. So let's go here. And in order to get this, we need fortitude three. Um, I don't have any tough guy sunglasses, do I? Because that would give us fortitude three. If I did, they'd be in here. No. Okay. All right. Well, in that case, let's just go here and take fortitude three. And then, then we should be able to do living off the land when we get our next point, uh, which we're about 25% of the way uh, towards. And then we can make the farm table. I'm guessing that we need the farm table to make the dried leaves because it's not very clear on that. So in the meantime, we can at least make seven more things of coffee once I get more clean water going. And, um, you know, use that to avoid dysentery. Okay. Um, also, do these... I forgot I have these too. That's right. I should be using these up until that point that we can start making the goldenrod tea. And then, then we're sure not to get it. Okay. So, yeah, we, we might be able to manage that until the time comes to where it's not a problem at all. Uh, looks like we need some more wood in here. To finish those things out. Our food's actually good now. Our food's actually good. We're about 80-ish 80, 80 percent on the food scale. Um, and we still have more fish and one thing of prawns left over. So, yeah, we're doing good on that. Okay, I'm feeling better about stuff. Feeling better about stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's put this in here. Is there any other food I could make now? I suppose I could make some eggs, but I'd really like to hang on to that for bacon and eggs uh, for later. So, yeah, let's just hang on to that stuff for now. Okay, so coal. We've got to get coal. We also need to create a mold, which we should be able to now do. Um, so let's look at that. We have coal now. Or not coal, but um, clay. Right? Um, oh, shit. We need boiled water for that. <laughs> okay. We got to get coal. That's all there is to it. We've got to go get coal. Okay. Let's grab all of this food and the prawns. I'm going to eat the prawns right now. Um, and then I'm going to... We have seven more pieces of fish, which is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And we're going to save those for later. In fact, I'm not even going to take those with us right now. Uh, so let's just put them in here uh, so we have some space uh, I don't need this repair kit to do do I no I don't think so this primitive repair kit so we're just gonna put that in there uh, we don't need to take the two shovels with us for now uh, but we what we do need is we need to make sure we have the pick of course so we can get coal let's drop off this cloth here oh we were gonna look at this armor so right now we are oh yeah that's way better okay yeah switch them out switch them out um, that I'm just going to scrap because we can't sell, unfortunately, we can't sell anything that's better. Which is another thing about this mod, I can't say that I appreciate a whole lot. You know, there's a, there's a, there's a fine line, I guess I'll say, between the in, uh, enjoyment of the challenge and things just being ridiculously difficult. And this mod, for me anyways, kind of skirts that. <laughs> It kind of skirts that line, you know. It really does. It's like, oh, man, I don't know. I don't know. All right. But we're making it happen. Slowly but surely, we're making it happen. Okay, guys, coal. Coal is the name of the friggin' game. So I got to figure out where the coal mine is. I think it's over this way. 
um, because that's going to be the quickest and easiest way for us to get it unless like i said i can find it you know just a deposit on the ground i haven't noticed one but i haven't really been looking for it either so um i think that's maybe the coal mine off that way so we are still thirsty uh, which is going to affect our stamina regen unfortunately but at least we're not you know in a in a deadly situation at this point like we were when i first started the recording we were like completely out of food and when that happens you know you start losing health um and eventually it'll kill you, you know if you can't if you don't do anything about it so so let's run over to the coal factory here and get ourselves some coal all right we are back and and we're back down we're back and then we're back down i need to patch that hole maybe i could just put a <clears throat> do something like that i guess all right so we got some coal um it was really slow going because my stamina kept tanking so fast uh but we did we got it done so let's go ahead and grab uh all these waters here um i don't i'm trying to think We've got 128 coal let's um let's save half of that for now because we might need it for other things later on okay so it's going to take us 14 minutes to make 64 murky water um and we're going to need uh, more wood i guess we just put all of our wood in there here let's not do that um Oh, yeah, right, 28, 14, 26, yeah, that's that's good, okay. Uh, so that's enough fuel uh, to create those. So let's grab, let's get, um, how much coffee do I have in here? I have seven things of coffee grants, okay. Put the rest of those back in there for now. Put the eggs in here, and the feathers I'm keeping in here, I guess. Yep, looks that way. So we need to make seven murky waters, and then <clears throat> we'll turn those into boiled waters, and then we'll turn those into coffee, and then we'll have safe beverages to drink. Um, once that coffee runs out, then we have three vitamins that we can strategically take um, and drink just regular boiled water. Um, and. Uh, Hopefully by that time, you know, we'll, we'll be at the next level and we can make the farming table, which I believe is what we need to make. Oh, you know what? Can we do that in this rack? No, no, this is all just leather and cloth stuff. I was going to say, I wonder if we could use this as a drying rack, you know, for the, uh, for the tea leaves, but I guess not. Okay. So let's see here. How, how are we doing? We need one more of you. Okay, we got that. Now let's come over to here. Make seven boiled waters. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with having to, you know, filter the water with the coal and then boil the water. But I don't think it should still give us dysentery after that. In fact, I don't, I don't, I don't think, you know, and I don't think it does now in Alpha 19 in vanilla. Um, that was something I think that was an Alpha 18 bullshit thing that I never agreed with. <laughs> and so, unfortunately... Uh, Jax decided to bring that back in Ravenhurst, even in Alpha 19, and not a fan. I'm just going to throw that out there. Not a fan at all. Uh, okay, so, yeah, we'll just wait for these to finish. 21 more seconds, and then we'll make coffee. Once we have the coffee made, we will have our food and beverage under control, and we will then be ready to proceed with other things. And it's only taken us till freaking 3.30 in the afternoon to do all that. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. So let's see. What did we need? Oh, we do need to save one boiled water. That's right. Uh, for for making the mold. Uh, so we're going to turn all of these into boiled water anyway. So it doesn't kind of matter as far as that goes. Okay. There's our seven boiled water there. And now we should be able to make seven things of coffee. And it'll take two minutes. A little over two minutes. Okay. Grab this boiled water. And why the water has to be boiled to make a mold is also nonsensical. Any water should be able to work for this. I mean, what are we afraid we're going to have a contaminated mold for using in a forge, which is going to be 
you know, 800 degrees Fahrenheit temperature or whatever it is. Uh, anyway, whatever. I'll stop complaining. I'll stop complaining. Okay, we need 15 clay. Uh, so let's grab some clay here and make our empty blank mold. Then we'll see what the next step is for this quest. Oh, right. we got to stay in the crafting match. At least it warns us of that. I do appreciate that part of it. My guess is that there's some game mechanic that the mod authors probably can't do anything about with that. Craft a workbench. Okay. So, um, so does an empty blank mold... This mold can be used to craft items in the forge. Du, 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 du. Is that all we need for the ingots, or do we have to make an ingot-specific mold? Let me look at that. I guess... My guess is that... Yeah, my guess is that the empty blank mold is the one that we use for ingots. Okay, so uh, let's put some of our wood back in here. And there we go. Okay, awesome. Whew. <laughs> now we can actually make iron ingots. Oh, my God. It just took so long to get to that point. It's freaking day 10, you guys. Oh, man. I mean, now that I kind of know what's going on, uh, I would have gotten to this point more quickly uh you know if i do it again uh, i would have gotten I'll, I'll get here more quickly but oh my god can't believe it okay so <laughs> we could finally make forged iron it's just such a beautiful thing okay now so we need 25 uh forged iron for the workbench so let's let that do its thing uh we need 20 mechanical parts do i i only have four so the next thing that's going to be a little concerning is our wrench situation. Um, what do we need for this? Okay, we just need a normal repair kit for that. And I... Do I have a normal repair kit? I do. Okay, good. So we can actually repair our wrench. Um, so to get mechanical parts, we need shopping carts. We need uh, cars. I don't know if this would give us mechanical parts or not. I think it'll give us electrical parts. Oh, we need a claw hammer too. Okay, claw hammer. That's going to be interesting. Is that something I can make, actually? No, it's it's locked. Son of a bitch. Okay. Um, To make the claw hammer, we would need minor 69er, I think. Uh, where is minor 69? Oh, wait, do we not have minor 69 anymore? I think. So this, these are all of our action skills here, which we can put direct points into. I'm just trying to see. Okay. Um, hmm. Construction perks, general perks, demolitions. Yeah, I don't. I don't know, man. How do we? Do we just? Do we just have to find? Do we just have to find like the the blueprint? Is that the only way we can get? A hammer? What? Well, other than trying to loot one. Hmm. Okay. Well, another roadblock. <laughs> oh, Lord Almighty. Okay. Let's drink some coffee. Uh, we're going to throw back probably a, at least four of these to get our beverage under control. And that still leaves us three more. We're going to get one hell of a buzz, too, man, from drinking all this coffee, aren't we? And um, let's eat one more piece of fish. Where did I put the fish? Here. Just to keep get that back up almost to the top. And then I think we are finally... We finally have our food and beverage under control. Oh, man. What a struggle. What a struggle. Okay. 
So, yeah, crafting a workbench, man. Um, mechanical. The the thing that's going to be hard on that. Uh, we and we actually managed to get a vice. We we found a vice. I don't know what I did with it, but I do have it somewhere. Uh, so we lucked out on that deal. It's right here. Okay, so we got the vice. Uh, so it's the hammer. We're either gonna have to find a recipe for the hammer, or we're gonna have to find a uh, actual hammer itself. Um, I wonder what our chances. Oh, you know what? I just remembered something. Let's go down here. Oh, look at that! Our beverage is all the way to the top. Our food's climbing a little bit more. There's actually, I think there's a working stiff's box under the stage in here. Yeah, there is. Okay. What are the chances? Oh, there's some ammo down there too. That we could actually get some a hammer out of here. Hey, dummy. I can actually run now. I have stamina. Let's kill this Yahoo. Yahoo! Be angry now. Okay, he's dead. All right. Boy, wouldn't that be something if we could actually pull a hammer out of this thing? Um, let's put let's put our luckies on. To help boost that chance. Okay, come on, hammer. Come on, hammer. It's hammer time. That's not a hammer. It's kind of a nice little stone pig axe, though. Damn it. Okay. Um, let's get check this uh, ammo pile here. Okay, we got that. Uh, don't see anything else in here. Okay, well that was worth a try. Uh, so yeah, we've got to keep looking for for a hammer. The rest of the stuff we can do. We just got to get the hammer. So let's go go out and about and look around and see if we can find ourselves a hammer. Uh, let me drop a few things off first. Okay, so I don't remember seeing a any kind of a tool store uh, in this town. Our um, probably our best bet is the uh, the pawn sh the pawn shop right over here. Or finding a hammer. So that is where we're going to go. Got some crops and stuff there. Uh, we might as well start wrenching cars too, because we're gonna we're also gonna need the mechanical parts and any shopping carts I come across. Uh, and filing cabinets also I think give uh, give the parts there. This wrench isn't going to last very long, but at least we have one repair kit. There's a very slim, slim chance that we could also find a hammer in a car. It's happened before, but it's not, not real likely. Okay, yeah, let's work our way towards the... Uh, the store here. We're already five things encumbered. Which kind of sucks. We might need to make, you know, put down a little um, drop chest, drop trash bag. There's some carts. We could take that apart too, actually. didn't get any mechanical parts? Come on, man. Wow. Okay. I either had some really bad luck there or something's changed. Let's see if we can loot three trash things so we can set down a, a little drop chest here. I should not be using my wrench for that. I've got to save the durability. Oh, uh, you know what? This isn't going to work, though, because we need our little personal workstation to make these. So what we actually need is we need to find a duffel bag or something we can use immediately. Okay. Um. Is there anything over here? 
wouldn't have minded killing those guys, but we're already way overweight. We got to deal with that first. So we need like a purse or a duffel bag or something along those lines. Let's even just look at our inventory for a second. Um, what do we even have? Is there stuff we don't we can live without for now? Yeah, we can live without the jar. We can live without that. Those are empty gas cans. Uh, here, let's scrap these to consolidate space. Yes, I know. You can get more if you smelt them whole, but we're in a situation where we need to save space. So, so get off my case. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, these aren't doing us any good because we need the workstation to turn them into um, stuff, right? So that brings up a little bit spot. I don't really want to get rid of any of the rest of this stuff. Son of a bitch, man. Uh, yeah, we, we've, the only way this is going to work is we're going to have to find a duffel bag or a purse or a backpack or something that we can pick up and, and use immediately. I almost think maybe I should be, maybe I should carry around a little personal workstation with me, but I mean, every single slot is so precious at this point in time, you know, that I don't want to take up even more space. Um, what I'm going to do is just work my way back towards the base. If I don't find a duffel bag or something that's usable, uh, I got a bunch of extra ones back at the base itself, and I'll just grab one or two of those. And we'll put it out in front of uh, Vic's place there, um, you know, to just a as a drop, because we're going to pull a lot of loot out of that place. Okay, so we are back. Let's grab our... I got like three or four duffel bags. Extra ones that I just had sitting around. And we're just going to line them up here. Like so. By the time this episode's over, I will have trained my fingers to press the tab key instead of the I key. And then I'm going to go back to playing Conan Exiles and it's... The vicious cycle is going to have to start all over again. Oh, my goodness. Okay, why do I even have those? I should have left those at the base. I don't know. Okay, let's rinse this car. Get some more mechanical parts. I am going to need to... I am going to need to get more nails, too, but that's not hard. Uh, I know how to get them. They're easy to get. Okay, let's just put all of this stuff in here. Now we got some Zekers to deal with. I'm going to let... Uh, doofus inside break the door all the way down because we need it broken anyway so well unless i can can i open it oh yeah it's unlocked all right let's not destroy the door then okay you should be just about dead that's pretty close to just about dead i'd say Come on, man. I'm running out of daylight. Leave me alone. I got looting to do. Okay. Now more zombies are coming. Of course. Naturally. Arlene? Get the hell out of here. I'm trying to... <laughs> I'm trying to get inside of here. I've got places to go. Stuff to loot. Don't have time to mess with you. Actually, you know, killing these zombies is something we need to do for the XP. So it's not 
It's per, uh, slowing us down from getting the looting done, but we're getting another thing accomplished that we also need to get accomplished. So it's all good, man. It's all good. Okay. You should go down any second now. Okay. Let's hop in here. There's going to be a lot of meanie, meanies in here. That we're going to have to take it slow. It's probably going to take maybe a couple of episodes to get through this whole place. I don't know. We'll see. Ooh, that's a new looking dude. That's not a normal vanilla zombo. Somebody coming from the outside? Okay. We need to make sure our escape route is good. There's a bunch of Zeeks in, up in the ceiling in here too, so... Got some cloth. I think uh, washing machines will give us mechanical parts. They should. Alright, we gotta deal with creepy crawly here. A couple more Zeeks are coming out of the out of the woodwork there. Steve's walking right over the top of him. Now we got some Zika Ruskies. There's just enough of them here that we might need to draw them off. So that doesn't really work very well. Okay, you need one more application of that. He thumped us too. Steve should be going down any moment. Okay, he did. It's nice to see that you're wearing your mask. You're keeping us all safe from COVID infection. I really appreciate that. Let's get a bleed going on you. And you get a bleed, and you get a bleed, and you get a bleed. Is he dead already? Wow, only hit him once. Edgar, slow down. You're running too fast. Edgar has three bleed applications now, so he's probably going down in a second. Okay, he did. You guys should have one bleed application already. So now you should both be dead. You just gotta fall down to the ground. Anytime now. Thank you. And you too, darling. You don't get special privileges. There you go. Okay. Alright, let's hop back in here. Um, I want to see if, see if we can get this taken apart. Yeah, there's mechanical parts. Nice. Okay, time to go. Whoa, shit. <laughs> All right, let's do, let's put this stuff in here. Just whatever can go where. I don't care about that. Yeah. Ronnie McDonough, you need a bleed. Let's get you joining up with the party here. Okay, they should all be dead. down and he dropped the bag for us. Come on, Ron. Hit the dirt. 
There you go. What's in here? Give us a hammer. Okay, well, we'll take some ammunition. All right, well, guys, it is just about nighttime. So I think I am finished uh, with Vix for now. We will, uh, the plan will be for the next episode to come back here and just keep looting this place in hopes that we come across a hammer. Uh, so I'm going to head back to the base, do the usual um, inventory management, and then just pretty much hunker down until nighttime. Uh, I'll probably in the morning again uh, do a little bit of digging, do a little bit of fishing before I start the camera because that seems to work pretty good. And, um, you know, that way we have plenty of food and water for the next day. I still have a little extra, which is good, but not a, not a comfortable amount, if that makes sense. So, uh, yeah, that is it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. We'll leave a comment, share out the video, and we will catch you in the next episode. Edward, you never looked so good.